Excel module one. So we just looked at some printing options and I want to move on to auto calculate, but in case y'all, I, I fixed my problem, but in case y'all have not fixed yours, I wanted to show you how you do this. So I went into my name bar. No, I didn't. What did I do? Oh yeah. I clicked control on my keyboard and hit the end key on my keyboard. And it takes me all the way to that ZY22. And apparently I, I, I knew I had typed something in there. I just wasn't sure. So I typed something in there in ZY22. And then once I delete that and click control home, it takes me all the way back to my workbook. I can now go in there to file print. And now you see I have one page. And I did select it to fit on one page still. Um, so now it fits on one page of one page instead of one page of six and being teeny tiny or one page of 55 as it was originally. So that's how I went in there and fixed that. All right, the next thing I wanna show you is called auto calculate. So on your status bar down here, you can easily easily obtain a total and average or other information about the numbers in a range by using the auto calculate area on your status bar. If nothing is showing up for you on the status bar, you can right click, make sure your average or count or minimum or maximum or sum are check marked. Now select a range. And if you select that range, you'll now see at your status bar, it tells you your average, the count, the minimum, the maximum, and the sum, because I had check marked all of those. So you can easily check your um, formulas there as well. I wanted to make sure that you guys saw that you could use the auto cap calculate. Okay. Well, we will move on to Excel Module 2.